In this segment, we'll take a look at MIDI transforms. Transforms are editing commands which allow you to easily modify a selected range of music in a certain way. There are over 25 different MIDI transforms in six categories in the full version of Digital Orchestrator. The first five categories affect note data only. These include pitch, on and off velocity, note duration, and start time. The last category are mostly designed for non-note MIDI data, such as controllers and pitch band. The operation of all transforms is simple. Just highlight the data you wish to transform from any of the MIDI edit windows. Choose the transform, adjust the parameter settings for the transform, and click OK. Let's take a look at the first category of transforms, pitch. One of the most helpful transforms is the pitch transpose. I'll load up a sample file here and display the track in the piano roll window. Here's what the track sounds like before the transpose. Now I'll highlight the notes. Choose Pitch Transpose from the Transforms menu and set the parameters to lower the pitch by one octave. As you can see and hear, the notes have been moved down an octave. Don't forget, anytime you don't like the result of a transform, you can simply select Undo from the Edit menu to restore the track. I'll try another transform now. The Invert Transform flips the notes in a track on a designated axis. Before selecting the transform, I'll see which note I want to use as an axis to flip the notes. In this case, it is C4. I'll highlight the notes and select the transform. Set the axis to C4 and press OK. Notice the note pattern has been flipped upside down. As you probably have guessed, some transforms provide a valuable utility and some simply serve as creative tools. For example, the randomized pitch transform can be used to help generate interesting melodic structures or ideas. Another category of transforms deals with note velocity. If you're not already familiar with the term, on velocity represents how hard a note is struck, therefore affecting the volume and often the tone of the note played. Off velocity represents how hard the note is released. For now, we will just work with the on velocity transforms. The set transform simply sets all notes to a given value. This will remove the dynamics of the track to give it a more mechanical sound. The offset transform adds or subtracts a given value to the existing values, preserving the dynamics of the track. Lastly, the scale transform provides another way to adjust the relative velocity values, only it's based on a percentage. Now let's take a look at how the crescendo transform works. Here is a two-bar phrase with no dynamics. I can highlight all the tracks and apply the crescendo transform to instantly add a crescendo. Last in the on velocity category is humanize. This transform will randomly adjust the velocity values of each note to add a more human feel. Listen to this track of manually entered notes. Now hear it after I apply the humanize velocity transform to the track. Notice how the volume dynamics have been added to give it more of a rhythmic feel. Let's move on now to start time transforms. 
the first of the note start time transforms is offset. This transform moves groups of notes forward and backward in time while preserving the relative positions. This is helpful for bumping up a part in a song that drags. Another interesting application is to use the offset feature to create a MIDI echo effect. In this example, I have a simple drum pattern looped. I'll make a copy of the track by control dragging it. Then offset the track by 120 clicks, which is a 16th note. Now, using the velocity offset, I'll decrease the volume of the new track. When I play the track back, we'll hear an echo effect that gives the pattern a new feel. One of the most helpful and commonly used transforms is Quantize. The Quantize transform can clean up a sloppy rhythm part by moving notes onto the beat. Listen to this drum part I recorded earlier. Pretty bad, huh? Watch how I can quickly clean up the rhythm playing here using quantize. I'll set the quantize value to eighth notes. This means that notes will be pulled in to the nearest eighth note value. I'll also set the sensitivity to 90%. This will preserve some of the human feel of my part. Now listen. That's a bit better. Another helpful quantize feature is the swing setting. Adjusting this setting to 70% or so will create a shuffle feel, like this. For a hip hop feel, try the same thing, only set the quantize value to 16th notes. The last note start time transform is humanize. This feature will adjust the note start times randomly to add a more human feel to over-quantized or hand-inserted parts. In addition to transforming note start times, pitch, and velocity, there are also transforms for note duration. Many of these provide the same type of modification to the data as the earlier transforms, only they affect just the note's length. One of the most practical applications of a note duration transform is to take a musical part which was played staccato and make it legato, or vice versa. This can be accomplished in a number of ways. I can use the set transform to set a new duration for all notes. The offset transform to add an offset to the note's length. Or I can use the scale transform to increase the note's length by percentage as I'll do here. Notice how the notes lengths were increased to create a legato feel. During this segment I only brush the surface of what can be done with the MIDI transforms. Try experimenting with the various transforms to help you create new musical ideas. If you get stuck you can get online help in each transform dialog box by pressing the Help button. Click on the Digital Audio Recording and Editing Tutorial to learn about recording and editing digital audio tracks in Digital Orchestrator.